Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and right now we're going to take a look at a different approach to the while true loops or basically the infinite loops. We're going to learn how we can deal with them, how we can actually close them even though they are infinite and break out of them with a simple command. So what we are going to do is we will code the same program from the previous video. That's why I was so confused because I didn't want to show you how to properly code it until we actually get to the break statement right here. And right now we're going to code a password uh, uh, checker with the actual while true loop. What this will do is it will actually prompt the user to enter the password for as long as they don't specify the correct password in the program. So first of all, let us write the simple program. We want to open a new file. So we want to open this right here. Let us save it right away. So save as uh, to the desktop. We can call it uh, fourth program.py. Okay, we saved it. And right now, let us actually see how we can do this. Now, this will be a little bit uh, harder than the previous videos or the previous programs that we did, especially for the beginners, because we're going to do something uh, which we haven't done before, which is going to be uh, embedding an if else statement into a while true loop. So you will see, trust me, it is not really that hard. It is rather easy. Just try to make sure that you understand it the best you can. So first of all, we will start off by actually setting the password as usual to be equal to uh, anything we want. So we can set it to be equal to uh, right now. Let us switch it up. Rainbow is the password. And let's actually add the capital R right here as well, just for the thrill and right here. Uh, we are not going to actually prompt the user to input the actual password right here. We are going to prompt the user to input the password in the while true loop itself. So, you know, in the previous video, what we did is we actually prompted first, the first time we prompted the user to enter the password uh, outside of the while loop. And right here, we want to type while true. And then we want to prompt the user for the password. So while true, uh, input inputted underscore password is equal to let me just check this out okay so is equal to input and then we want to specify the user enter the password okay so we prompt the user in the while true loop to enter the password now if you just ran this program right now what this will do is it will basically prompt the user forever to enter the password. But we don't want that. We want the user to actually uh, print, get the access granted, access granted string printed out once they actually get the password correct. So we can do that with the if else statement. So if uh, inputted password, so inputted underscore password is equal equal to the password. So this is something that we are already familiar with. We did something similar to this, so nothing really to explain right here. If inputted password is equal equal to password, we want to break out of the loop. So basically what we are doing right here is we are breaking out of the loop. In any other case, we are not going to break out of the loop. It will just go right back right here and it will check whether the inputted password is equal to password. If it is not, it will go right here and then back to the beginning of the while true loop, prompting us to enter the password once again. And if we manage to get it, we want to print right here, password correct, and then in the next line, access granted. So uh, let us take a look at this once again. This is a rather short program. Uh, we set the password variable to have uh, the password itself. Then we enter a while true loop, which is an infinite loop. Then we prompt the user to enter an actual password. We compare these two passwords. So we check whether the inputted password from the user is equal to the password specified in the program itself. If it is, we're going to perform a function called break. Now, as I said before, this break function will simply break out of this loop, but it will not close the program. Don't, confusing, don't confuse it with closing the program. This will only 
exit the while well, true loop and then it will continue executing to the next uh, to the next step which will be print pass for correct and print access granted the reason why we are actually printing this right here is because uh, this part right here can only be accessed once the password is correct if the password is not correct this will run forever so let us see how this will work if i just go right here or first of all let me save it so save and then i run it you can see we get prompted enter the password if i just type here password it will ask me again one two three password one two three hello world nothing really works even the lower lateral rainbow will not work as you can see right here rainbow will not work but once we actually specify a rainbow we get password correct access granted so we were successfully able to actually code a password checker with a while true loop that has an if statement in it so this would be a more uh, appropriate way to actually code a password checker than in the previous video uh, what we are going to do in the next video is we are also going to take a look at a continue uh, function in Python 3, which is also going to help us with the loops themselves. So that would be about it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!